Hey everyone, today I'm going to give you a quick comparison of the ASUS ProArt display PA32 UCG against the XDR display on the M1 iPad Pro 2021. So in theory, these two displays, they should have similar image quality because the specifications are kind of similar. Both are mini LED displays with dimming zones. This has 2,500 dimming zones and this has 1,152 dimming zones. The HDR brightness is up to 1,600 nits. The ASUS monitor is 32 inch 4K. The iPad Pro is 12.9 inch with less resolution. And you can see this monitor is really thick. The display on the ASUS is matte with anti-glare, whereas on the iPad it's glossy and reflective. The colors on both displays look really nice and they have fantastic viewing angles. By the way, this monitor is actually a review unit on loan from ASUS. The retail price is 5,399 Singapore dollars, which translates to around 4,000 US dollars. And of course, the iPad Pro is several times cheaper. What I want to show you is SDR versus HDR. So currently I have the M1 iPad Pro connected to the monitor using this Thunderbolt cable. And I am going to stream this movie, 1917. Actually, I cannot stream this movie on YouTube due to copyright reasons. But I'm going to show you this freeze frame. Take a look at these areas here where the flames are. So these areas, they are almost blown out. I can see some details um, at the bottom right here. I can see some color. It's not totally white, but it's very bright to the point that it's almost blown out. Bear in mind that this is a streaming movie. It's not a downloaded file. So now I'm going to disconnect the cable and I'm going to play a few seconds. Do you see something happen? That transition earlier was actually a transition from SDR to HDR. So now this is actually in HDR and I can see a lot more details here in this flame. I can see the gradation of colors and I can also see the colors more clearly. By the way, if you are watching HDR movies on the M1 iPad Pro and actually on all iPads, you can only see through HDR when you are streaming movies. You cannot see HDR if you are watching a downloaded movie file. So let me connect this again to the monitor. So once again, you can see all these areas here, they are blown out. And now I'm going to connect the Apple TV 4K to the monitor. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. So the colors are slightly different probably due to color calibration but um, both movies are now playing at HDR because I can see all the details within the flames as well so earlier on all these areas they were just almost blown out but now I can see all the details and uh, image quality of this display it's very similar to the M1 iPad Pro. So I've just pulled the curtains and now the M1 iPad Pro is at maximum brightness. I can see some blooming, especially at the top left and top right where the controls are and also some blooming at the bottom where the controls are. Anyway, I'm not able to control the brightness here because once this monitor detects HDR, it will just lock the brightness. So is the blooming issue a problem on the M1 iPad Pro? I would say no because blooming is only more noticeable at maximum brightness. If you are just using auto brightness while watching movies uh, in daytime or at night, the blooming is not that noticeable you do get to see the extra contrast due to the wider dynamic range due to the 1600 nits HDR brightness. I've just connected the M1 iPad Pro to the monitor again. So let's see if there is blooming. 
on the displays and yep i can see blooming on both displays in case my camera is not able to record the blooming accurately i'm just going to show you photos side by side photos at this point in time i've got to say that if you are using a mini led display you have to expect some degree of blooming especially at high contrast areas especially when you have high contrast against a dark background but um, i would say both displays they still look really good i mean if you are using auto brightness um, then blooming is not really that much of an issue in fact this asus monitor the blooming is already considered really well controlled compared to the previous model that i tested anyway i will review this in greater detail in an upcoming review so with a side by side comparison i've got to say that i'm actually quite impressed by the quality of the display on the m1 ipad pro all right thanks for watching let me know what you guys think about these two displays in the comment section below bye